I'm thinking maybe three archers, a spearman, and two warriors should be enough to take over this city-state. Probably definitely a battering ram, but I, I don't know how much Lisbon is going to have when we declare this war. Although, we're going to find out right now because I've got a settler and he's just going to move straight through this territory. He's kind of going to wave by Portugal, say, yo, what's up, what's up, dude? We'll be back with three archers, a spearman, and two warrior units in about 10 turns. No, I don't know about that, but I'd like to be at war with them by turn 50. At the end of this video, I want to have declared the war. That's that's the goal here. So we need to, we need to get moving. We definitely need to get moving. Um, I need to work this last damn tile improvement. What I'm going to do... Move here because I want to. I want to improve the rice, anyways. So, we'll uh, we'll do that. Boom! Extra food. That's perfect. We get the extra housing as well, and uh, we're looking like pretty pretty good. Four food yield there. Extra production. Where we we have our pantheon that gives us production for uh, for all of the the food, fishing boats. What I'm trying to say, and I'm hoping this next city has a lot of fishing boats nearby, but I don't I don't know. Oh, can we not anymore? I thought those those were dashes. Well, we're going to pass by them and go this way. We're st it's still... Everything I said was still relevant. Kind of. Kind of. Um, just not as... as We're not just not going to move to the south. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, by the way, I'm still eating those apple pies you gave me, America. Those are tasty. I, I really like them. Um, you're going to hate us for the rest of the game, so that's going to be fun. I think we definitely need bronze working. Kill three barbarians. You know what? We might... You know what? Let's go riding and hope that we kill three barbarians in three turns. I'm, I'm sending my scouts to go kill these guys. I've killed two? Killed two, I think. Without and we'll, I think we might be able to get a kill here, actually. No, not yet. Let's let's push him back. We're going to get some kills right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chase after these guys. We got to get that kill. Because I've killed a spearman and I think a slinger, right? Pretty sure I did. Okay, open civics. We need... We're not going to get a district anytime soon. So, state workforce, and then I'll just rush this. Political philosophy. Now, it would be great if we got a government system before we went to war with Portugal, but it doesn't even need to be before we go to war. We could declare the war, and before we approach, uh, get up a government that, you know, gives us nice policies. We could be in the middle of a siege, actually. See, this is great. They're dealing with barbarians. Unfortunately, we're going to probably have to take care of those barbarians. But, anyways. Um, okay, I'll trap you. I will attack across the river. I've got, I'm seeing a lot of English units over here, and I'm not, I don't appreciate it. There we go. Bronze working. There's the Eureka moment. We probably need to take, I think it's this encampment that's, that's building a lot of these damn barbarians. England should take care of whatever might be underneath this terra incognita. Okay, so granary is going to give us more food. I think we need a battering ram, though. Let's do it. Battering ram time, baby. Yeah, this is kind of aggressive. I don't usually build this many early game units, but, you know, we kind of need to. Okay, and then my spearmen will approach. I'm going to start going around the city-state. Now, city-states don't have the option of saying, hey, are you going to war with me? They can't do that. So, this is perfect. I need to use that to my advantage and surround them. I actually don't think they could do that. They definitely didn't do that in Civ Five. But, but we'll see. I'm going to go up around these mountains because I'm sure there's an encampment nearby there. And we got a promotion. Faster movement in woods and rainforest. Movement on terrain. There's not many hills in this, in this landmass. I'm going to go ranger then. I'm going to go ranger. And uh, I'm seeing barbarians. A little bit of barbarians. Now we can go for bronze work. And then I guess irrigation next. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to find any iron. It's kind of too late. We're probably going to settle the city before we get bronze working, which is unfortunate, but that would have been nice. That would have been a great kind of wombo combo. What are you guys doing? Well, they're, actually, that barbarian's probably not coming after me. I'm just going to ignore him. Okay, so crabs at the very least is over here. Oh, pearls too. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Pearls, fish, and crabs. If I settle in the correct location, we might be able to reach these whales too. We get deer and stone still. Maybe the copper. We have to kind of figure out the right place though. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit inside of the forest with the archers. That, that way they get a defensive bonus. And then I don't think a scout these scouts would make much of a difference in a, in a battle for a city. 
this early? I mean, I don't know. It's still kind of early, so they might, but I feel like they probably wouldn't. Let's move these guys. Let's scoot these guys out of the way. Does anyone else notice the dog pantings when you collect the when you select the the scout? I hear I hear it. Yeah, you hear that? It's like a little. <laughs> oh, jeez. So sometimes I just get so weird. So you want me to settle here? I don't think that's actually a good spot. I'm thinking here. I can get all of it. Oh, I can get all of it, baby. Right? Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, as long as we expand our border growth here, no one else comes here. I'm looking at you, Teddy Roosevelt. Stay your booty over there in the corner. All right, don't come over here, because I'm looking like I'm going to get at least several... I'm just going to say several sea resources. I won't be able to reach that, which is unfortunate, but whatever. And a coastal city with my pantheon. We've got to spread the pantheon, though. Remember, pantheons don't get replaced by the, the religion anymore, so that's why I'm doing this. <clears throat> okay. So we got our battering ram. A campus would be good, but... Oh, you know what? This is good that we settled over here, but, um, because if we take out the city-state, we're going to need a lot of extra amenities. So, let's do a, well, we need an archer. We need a third archer for sure. Uh, you know what? But I can purchase the archer. Oh, I can purchase the last few units, so it's not even a big deal. I might want to purchase that granary, though. The archer's not too much more. I'm making 10 gold per turn. That's what we'll do. Um, because I need to build a granary anyways. Like, in terms of things I need to build. I need to build that damn campus. I need to build that damn campus. Although, wait a second. Where would I build that at? Where would I build that at? I cannot unless I buy a, a city, a tile. So you know what? No, I can't do that. I can't build the campus yet unless I buy a tile, but I don't want to buy a tile. Drew does not want to buy a tile. What can I say? So then we'll build the granary and then we'll buy the unit, I guess. I feel like it'd be more efficient to do it a different way. Uh, can't do anything with my faith. Yeah, I, we, we need a third archer. That is for sure. And I need to upgrade that slinger too. So I got to keep that in mind. And then do we have access to a spearman yet? Where are my spearmans? They're coming in three turns. Okay. They're coming in three turns. I hope we don't miss out on iron. I bet you there's not going to be any iron over here. This is way too good of a location to have iron. Bet money. Bet money. Oh! Oh! Settler! Barbarian settler. Okay, so you're gonna settle there. Please accept my warmest thanks. Okay, I was about to say if you were gonna get upset. On the continent we share. Okay, so she's not. She's actually kind of friendly now. Okay, except for that. I mean, that she's looking kind of angry, but that's nice. She doesn't look all mean. So that's kind of cool. Um, we want to build her because we need to improve. Ah, uh, I need to grow my borders. We don't get any new amenities. Till we grow the borders. Either way. Man, I wish this city was coastal. That would have been so much better. Another battering ram? No. What I think is a scout. And then we build a spearman from here. Or buy a spearman. Either way. Um, actually, I'm going to lose some money because I have to upgrade this guy. 20 gold? That's it? Dang. Hot dog. <laughs> I have never used that phrase before. And I will never use that again. Because that was so weird. But uh, I was I was very happy. Okay, so I'm going to move this archer this way. We also need to get pull this guy probably there. Good thing is there's a lot of open terrain, except for this rice, but these are open terrain. I Citrus. Yeah, grasslands. So I can move my melee units here. I can actually start to attack. Do we want... We only need one battering ram. People were giving me... Uh, Joking around, because I had two battering rams sieging Jap Japan as America last time. That probably wasn't needed. I don't think it was needed. Okay, let's go off this way. Whoa, America, or England. I'm watching you. I guess it's fine. You can settle there, I guess. I guess. Okay, how much time do I have left for this video? Because, like I said, I want to... Oh, we, we have plenty of time. So the war will happen. Oh, good, we've got an injured, an injured warrior. I will take care of that injured warrior for you. Actually, he might uh, heal himself, which would be unfortunate. That would kind of suck. Should we go after a heavy chariot? Those are pretty nice. We don't need horses for that. We have not... Oh, we built... Yeah, we built... Oh, two boost. Never mind. Uh, do we want to rush anything super far away? I can't, I'm surprised I haven't built a mine. Uh, we really don't need another builder out there. Let's just go with irrigation, I guess. 
Yeah, let's just go with irrigation. I'm going to explore out this way. Yeah, you're going to set up some sort of coastal city next to the, uh, the river. I mean, you know, these scouts could probably help de defeat maybe a few warrior units, a few annoying city-state warrior units, but I don't know if I want to pull them back yet. I'm glad that... How do you have... How, how do you have so much production? Is it the deer that's providing you? It is. Oh, a deer tile is amazing. That's why. I was, like, genuinely surprised, genuinely surprised that this city was off to such a fast start. It was able to build things and still grow. So what we want to do is actually we want to swap this. Uh, I want the battering ram to be, yeah, hooked to the warrior. I'll move this archer here. And then probably a spearman. Is this open terrain? Does this count as open terrain? Uh, it's worked. Mine are worked. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move through it in one turn. I might move, yeah, you know what, I'm going to start to move this scout back. I guess. I want to figure out everything that's going on coastally, though, in this landmass. That way we have ideas for another city. Maybe a fourth city. Too bad that, again, ah, I can't stop thinking about that. Why isn't this city coastal? Please? Really? Okay, so I'll move you here. We're going to move you there. Whoops. I haven't looked these guys in yet. I will probably just buy the spearmen at this point. And then maybe work on the campus next. We'll probably have to purchase. There's too many resources now. I can't even find a place to build my my campus. I mean, I guess I could replace one of these one of these rainforests. Those aren't super necessary. Uh, we can make the city great if we just get out a builder. I think that's what we'll do. Seven turns. That's that takes too long. I'm gonna assume this should be enough. So let's go with the builder. I'm going to try to be super, like, I mean, building too many units could be, you know, is a waste of time. You kind of want to make sure you have just enough to take over a city. That's, like, the best strategy is just enough. You build too many and you're wasting production, early production, which is... See, look, I, I love that. She likes me because we share the same home continent. Like, that's the only reason. It's like, okay, that's kind of cool. And we get to change around our, uh, our government a little bit. I don't know if there's going to be anything that we really need. Fine, we'll go with the wheel for this, at least. Oh, can we change? I thought we could, yeah, we could change around our government. Do we have any policies? Uh, unit maintenance reduced by one. Might be a good idea. I definitely don't need this. Double, yeah, we don't need this damn experience. Production towards ancient era melee and range. Dang it, that would have been nice if we got that up earlier. Production towards ancient naval units. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna say, get rid of the barbarian stuff and actually give me unit maintenance reduced by one, and then ancient and classical era melee and ranged, fifty percent, just in case we need a little bit more. Oh, hold on. Do we want to change this up? Production all cities. I actually think this is good. Re ooh, reduce the cost of purchasing a tile by twenty percent. We probably need to start doing that. Yeah. I actually do, because I'm going to start purchasing a lot of tiles in this city and maybe even this city, because I need more areas to spread the districts. So this warrior will stay right here. Uh, I did get my technology up, which means that you can now purchase a spearman, which will be a nice extra combat. Melee strength is 25 versus the warrior that's 20. A little bit better. Damn, this thing is expensive. Why is it so expensive, yo? All right, well, we have to do it anyways. Progress for mercenaries, that's good. This should be enough. I mean, because the city itself is only 25. I probably built probably a little bit too much, actually. Um, I'm more worried about the lack of amenities that I'll have by taking this third city. I haven't locked you down, right? Okay, now you sleep. Now, I still need to take care of these warriors. That's the thing. So I might want to declare the war take care of the warriors. I might even back a, uh, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, the encampment's kind of late, yo. The encampment's kind of late. Oh, crap. What am I doing? Well, did I let that guy just pass by me? I guess I did. 
Well, what am I gonna do? I think he's going down for this encampment. He's probably trying to connect back with here. Well, we, I'll, I'll take a scout over there. Um, but we do, we do need a campus. I don't have any money. I don't have any money to purchase a tile. Well, maybe this is a sign. I don't. I really don't need the ancient walls. Maybe this is a sign. I. You know what? Let's go with the. Let's go with the ship. That way we start with our navy, and uh, maybe that's dumb too. I'm gonna do another. Ah, uh, the archers are not good at. I'm gonna go with the spearmen, I guess. Obviously, there's no iron near us. Clearly. Nice political philosophy. So we boosted that, which is good. That's another thing I need to keep in mind. I mean, I can boost this stuff like, wait a second. It's because I didn't start it, did I? I, I started, yeah. I think that's why I was able to boost it, I think. Okay, so next turn we'll go to war. And, ooh, what is that? What's going on over here? Oh, you, well, you're going to lock me down, so I'm not going to be able to see what's going on over there. Okay, so it's wartime. If a melee unit gets destroyed, I'll have a second spearman. I... I have not gone to any early game wars. Oh my gosh, I thought that was going to be another melee unit. That would have sucked. Alright, declare the war. Uh, this is going to make... Making this move, we'll start a war. Yeah, I know. War migraine penalty, none. Okay, so maybe we do have an answer. Maybe it's okay. Well, well, let's 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 take the city first. We get no war warmongering penalty for taking out the city-state. So that is good. Um, now, we need to range strike the crap out of this melee unit or else we're going to lose a lot of health. Will three strikes be enough? No oh, crap. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I knew it. I knew it. I enjoyed your apple pie, good sir, though. I will, I will throw that out there. Ooh, are we going to be able to take down this spearman in a second strike? It looks like we will. I love the battle animations. That's just how I feel. And we'll be able to steal this this worker away, it looks like. Or will we? Yeah, because there's a warrior here. He needs to move. There we go. Bam. So there's my builder. I still call them workers, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Okay, that was not supposed to happen. I don't know why that happened, but... Let me put you next to... I, what happened there? That was, because I didn't even click back that to do that. And we want to put everyone adjacent to the battering ram. And I'm not going to attack the city yet. That war unit inside of this city is going to be annoying. Yeah, I think we should wait and get a few rain strikes, range strikes on the city before. Oh, jeez. That misclick is really annoying. But there's nothing really I can do about it. Ugh. Whoa, that's right. He can't do anything. He didn't even take me down. There we go. Okay, we, we should be fine. Yeah, yeah. because the city has no walls. They actually might build walls last second. I have seen the AI do that multiple times where uh, they build the walls last second, which obviously sucks. Okay, so now this, this warrior will probably... Do a little bit more damage. I think the warrior helps the city. I think that's what's happening. Uh, also, if we can get just enough experience with one of these melee units, we can just give them a promotion and then we'll be good to go. But uh, I'm going to stop right there. Leave it, leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Um, Lisbon should definitely be ours and we'll see what happens. But obviously tensions with America is going to rise. Luckily, this war seems like it's going to be pretty smooth. I was a little bit paranoid, um, but I, I think that we should be pretty fine. I, and we have a lot of military units that will probably not die, which means we'll have a big army to maybe defend against uh, an America that probably doesn't like us. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.